What's going on guys? Trev and Chels are back at it again with another Pokemon Go episode and uh, I'm actually really really excited about this one. We're taking the quality and upping it by quite a bit today so uh, bam look at that right there. I found out a way to record my iPhone screen on the iPhone itself which is really really exciting so we're going to be able to bring you guys like some good quality videos not Pointing the camera at the screen type of stuff. So uh, we are back here at Universal City Walk. You guys can see it's a bit of a rainy night. People are starting to clear out, but the Pokemon are hot. You guys can see we've got an Eevee, an Execute, a Vidanat, a Rattata, and a ton of Pokestops all ready to be manhandled right now. So let's uh, let's get into it. Let's see. Ooh, oh, and we've got an egg hatching. How convenient is that? That's pretty exciting, right? All right, so we're going to see what happens here. Ooh, we got a Krabby. A nice little crabby, but what really matters here is the candies. We got 10 candies. That's pretty solid. She actually just ended up hatching an execute not too long ago. Uh, it was like a 400 execute and it went into like a, a thousand plus executor, right? Yeah, it was like 1,048. She's been killing it. I know if you guys have been keeping up with her, it's, she's, I don't know, she's on another level. She just got like a 1,400 Vaporeon in a video the other day. <laughs> So she has got a 10 kilometer egg that is insanely close to hatching. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to run the entire loop around uh, Universal where we kind of go around this whole big circle right here and then there's a Panda Express behind us that we're both kind of feeling. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can do that. Oh wow, this Oddish is a 411 and I think this might be my first chance to use an Ultra Ball. I haven't used many Ultra Balls yet. I just hit 21 recently. That's when you unlock the Ultra Balls. Wow, he got out of that quick. I don't really want to waste those because they're so good. So I think we're going to go down to greats. We've got a surplus of greats we can use and we're going to see if we can get this guy. This is crazy. So we've been traveling around. We want to go to more spots. We want to go to like um, uh, Disney World, like Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom and all kinds of stuff to catch Pokemon for you guys because I'm sure they have cool areas over there. Um, but where we've been so far, out of like Disney Springs and Universal and everywhere else we've been. We really like Universal, they have good Pokemon. You guys can see I just got a Gloom, which I have not seen much of. So I do think I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball on him. It's kind of hard to get that spin in with my left hand. So I think we're gonna skip the spin. It doesn't really help you out that much anyway. It's like 10 XP. I'd rather get a nice or a great throw. So we're gonna see if we can get him in here right now. Girl, have you seen, do you have a Gloom? Yeah, I just- Don't run. Is that what the, the oh, no. cutie blueberry turns into? All right, now I got my right hand here. If I ever want to throw a really straight, I use that index finger. I think that's just the, the mm -hmm. key. So we're gonna see if we can get this here. What? All right, I think it's time to get serious. We're gonna throw the raspberry in there. Even though 400 group bloom isn't really that great, so we're switching over to great balls. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding me? We'll just say a straight up great ball, see if that gets it done. We're good to go. You got it? All right, so if you guys remember, our first trip here to collect Pokemon, I think it was like episode two or three of this series, <laughs> I said that I wanted to take this Universal Sign Gym. The sign's not spinning right now, which makes me kind of sad, but you guys can see if we pull the gym up right here. Wow, this thing's pretty well protected, but there's only one of them. It's one Vaporeon in 1935. But before we do that, uh oh. Do you think it's the 10? 10k egg? It's gotta I've, be the 10k. I've really been anticipating this. It's gotta be the 10k. Come on, girl. Oh, that really sucks. I'm sorry. I don't That's. Even know what that is. It's not good. It's time to take this bad boy down. She has like three Jolteons or something crazy. So I'm gonna leave it up to her. And I'm just gonna throw my Snorlax in there afterwards. And this is gonna be ours at least for the next like five to 10 minutes because usually gyms switch over quick. So let's do it. Let's hope that she makes slight work of this. She only set up three Jolteons. She didn't plan the rest of her attacks outside of that. Oh, she's she's looking good. That's a tough Vaporeon. He's a big boy. Honestly. It's almost 2000. 1900 is, is pretty insane. Wow, he just took you down in pretty much one hit. So two Jolteons have taken him down about half health. A little bit over half. Oh, nice. No, that's three Jolteons. Oh, that's three? Ooh. <laughs> okay, well, I think you're going to be all right, though. Well, my Tentacruel is a big boy, and the whatever comes next is big. 
Oh, he's using hydro pump. That's not good. Oh, you got to try to to dodge those, girl. I think they need to fix the gym leveling system. I don't think you should be able to use six Pokemon against one and then be able to take the gym. Yes, sir. All right, the gym is now empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sneak in here. I'm gonna throw a Snorlax in. Boom! Look at that. Took it for Team Red, baby. She did all the work, and I get the glory. Look at that majestic guy just spinning around on top of the Universal sign right there. How cool is that? Did mine make it? Uh, I don't know. Oh no, somebody else came in and stole your spot with a 1300 Vaporeon. So basically, you just took the gym, and but then I. But it can bind us because on my screen right now, your. Pokey Martin had on my top and my hair, but it was Pokey Martin and it was your level. <laughs> I seriously lost my spot? Well, you can battle us and level up the gym and then you can put another one in if you wanted. That's okay. Let's go, Team Battler. Bum Stop was tweeting today that Brennan does the same thing. He has her battle a gym and then he slides in there. He's only like a level 11, so she's got to do the dirty work and he does the same thing you do. Shout out to my dude Brennan. We know how to play these games. Let's go. They can do all the work. We'll just reap the rewards, my dude. All right, we're gonna activate this incense and we're about to go hard. I just found a magic carp out here in the middle of the city walk lake and i am so hyped about catching these guys so i'm gonna run away from them real quick just so i can show you guys i'll go back and get them in a second if we take a look at our pokemon we're gonna go down to magic carp put it by name and then we're gonna go down to i caught a gyarados last night by the way it was a level 574 so it's really not that good i wasn't recording that night i felt bad about catching one but at least he wasn't very good uh anyway you guys can see we have 298 magic carp candy so we are a hundred candy away from being able to take a magic carp and uh and evolve him into a gyarados and i i have like a around like 107 magic carp right now which should end up being around like a 13 or 1400 gyarados which i'm really excited about so you guys better believe there's a video coming out about that soon. Okay, I don't have my phone recording set up right in this moment. We're in line for Panda Express, but you guys can see, look who's nearby. Scyther! Well, Scyther's gone. He ran away while we were in line. I'm kind of sad about it, but I am excited to get some food. Every good Pokemon trainer needs some energy, so we're gonna eat up and we're gonna get back out there. Dinner was good, we enjoyed it. I'm still pretty upset about the fact that we missed the Scyther. That neither, was a poor judgment call. Neither one of us had him, and we chose to stand in line and wait for Panda rather than chasing after him, which we probably should have done the other way around. We should have, probably should have chased him and then stood in line. But what we're doing now, as you guys can see, we've uh, I just put down a couple lures. I think these guys might be using the lures too. So we're, we're doing the community a service here. And we're just going to kind of hang out and catch some Pokemon. Looks like I've got a Pidgey right here, which is not too exciting. But um, we're going to see if we can get some good stuff. So uh, we'll let you guys know. That's the sound of the police. We just got ID'd. We just got ID'd for sitting on a curb and playing Pokemon Go. Are you kidding me? What? He came over and he was like, how old are you guys? He's like, hey guys. And we we're like, hi. And it was like an awkward couple seconds and he was like, how old are you? She's like, I'm 24, he's 23. And he's like, can I see ID? I don't feel like we look under 18. I thought he was going to say like, hey, we asked you, like, don't sit Not on loiter spot. Or something. And yeah. It never occurred to me that he would think we were underage. <laughs> Man, Pokemon Go is rough on these streets, getting security <laughs> called on us. Our lures are finishing up here, trying to get this female Nidoran right now. And then there's a Bulbasaur in the area, which I think we're going to go search for. Because she's close to being able to upgrade to and what? My girl just ran all the way across the lake and back. <laughs> I haven't moved. Hey, she's a champion. She's training for that triathlon she's got coming up. So <laughs> there's like a there's a spot in our house where it's right where the love sack is for those of you guys that know where that is. And if you put your phone there just plugged in, the character will like run out into the lake and back and run out and back and you can hatch your I've eggs. I sat there hatched like not even realizing and then I looked over and all my eggs were hatched. Right. So let's go ahead and get up and let's go see if we can find this guy. So if you guys remember, out here in front of the Hard Rock is where we caught like three or four Bulbasaurs in a row, our last episode at Universal. So I'm kind of assuming 
that he's gonna be over here. There is a rumor that you can use like the pulsating green down the bottom right corner. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right now it looks like we're headed in the right direction. Oh, he just disappeared for me though. I don't know, we'll find out. Well, back by the Hard Rock was a bust. I actually don't have Bulbasaur anymore. She still does. I can't tell if her app's not updating or what's going on. No, we disappeared now. Ah, I think he might, I think we might have been a little bit too slow. We saw him like five minutes ago. We really need to jump on that. When yeah, we see the Scyther or the Bulbasaur, you really gotta jump on it. But uh, we're heading back this way. I really just want some EVs. I want some Vaporeons and Jolteons. I think that this in front of us is probably the coolest Pokestop that I've ever been to. Let's go ahead and spin this thing right here. It's the, um, oh wow, that's not the one I was thinking of. I thought there was one. Oh, it's up here in front of us. The customer service one's over there. But this one is the Islands of Adventure Lighthouse Tower sign thing. So we're gonna go ahead and spin this thing. Just like that light spinning. We got three Pokeballs from it. Not too exciting, but it's just a cool looking piece. As you guys can see, things are really clearing out. At this point of the night, it's pretty much only Pokemon players, as you guys can tell by all the lures. Or there are some clubs up back there. So it's either clubbers or Pokemon players, which is kind of a funny mix. These guys right here are Team Mystic members. And for probably for the past like 20, 25 minutes, we've been fighting with them over this Universal one. The gym system is so broken. They don't have Pokemon half as good as ours, but they keep taking it back just because you can like whittle them down and take them one at a time. It's like six Pokemon versus one, then you run away, reheal, and take the next one or whatever. And it's making Chelsea actually mad. We just I'm walked by them. Beating them. I'm literally like tapping it five times and beating the whole gym. <laughs> She's legitimately mad. We were over on this bridge, we just walked by, she heard them talking about it, and I thought she was gonna start a fight. She's getting pretty passionate. <laughs> They're talking dirty about my character. <laughs> it's okay, let's go. Let's be the bigger people. We're all right. All right, guys, so I think that is just about gonna do it for us. The camera is almost dead. We've been on struggle bus. There were some other things I wanted to record, but I had to be careful about what I recorded because we only had one battery with us. I forgot the other one at home. Um, ended up that we were gonna go back and take the gym back from those a-holes. They finally took, us, took it from us like 15 minutes later. But uh, somebody else on Team Red had already handled our business for us. So we're feeling pretty good. I think we're gonna go drive around slowly through some neighborhoods, look a little bit creeperish because she's got some eggs that are about to hatch. That's so cool. And that's how we're gonna finish off the night. So you guys probably won't see those hatch. We'll talk about that in the next episode, something like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know where we should go next. What do you guys want to see next? Should we go to SeaWorld? Should we go to Disney World? Should we go to a random dog park and go with Cooper? I don't know. Like there's, there's a million different things. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. We'll catch you guys later. Peace out.